Hey guys, I'm Con and welcome to my 6 year anniversary special of Consox TV. <laughs> So I made uh, Consogs TV back in 2010, that's where it all began on the channel. Well, I had a channel before that, which I don't use anymore. Um, for many reasons, like, I, I, I just wanted to change and have start fresh, you know. I did actually do sketches on that before, and that's how it all began on that channel. But um, I thought I'd, I wanted a new uh, fresh start, so I started Consogs TV and it's been running for six years. The channel has um, been set in like four different houses. Um, since it all began and uh, the first house where it all began um, was a farmhouse and I was living with my parents I had like this um, downstairs bedroom and uh, that's where I started making my videos um, and then I got a green screen and all that you know started getting better at it and then um, the second house was like a bungalow um, where we moved into and uh, I all set my bedroom as my main set for Consolox TV and then some of the scenes around in the living room and that, you know. And then um, I moved into my own house. Um, and uh, that's where I based it on uh, Con's house. You know, that was his actual house that I lived in and that, in the show. So, and then I did like some scenes outside and that, you know, around about the area. And that was in town. And that was the first time I moved away from my parents' house. And then um, for many reasons, I moved back into this house uh, which I'm filming now and uh, this is another farmhouse and I moved back with my parents and um, I'm still making videos you know still running it's been going on for six years now so that's awesome oh god <laughs> my first ever video um, my first ever video was a little random but a lot I like it it's, it's one of my favorite videos I must say um, because it's it's the first time we did like a character on Consox TV. <laughs> this uh, video I did was a character, it was like a, cl a clown on crack. <laughs> and um, it basically a birthday clown, so, and it's just like really hyperactive and, you know, and um, Heather, she was, that was the first video she was in Consox TV. Con was dressed up as this crazy clown. Um... And in my mind, when I first saw the costume, the first thing that popped up was, I already know how this is going to go down. Um, and it actually didn't turn out like that. It turned out pretty fun, actually. She acted pretty well. I told her what to do. I directed her and stuff. And um, I just, she just kept laughing at me. She kept, at times, you just you can slightly see her. When it's, when it's my direction, you can slightly see her covering her mouth, and it's quite funny. <laughs> And she couldn't, she couldn't stop laughing after it. Um, I remember the one scene um, where we had to dance, and I didn't know how to dance, so I just kind of jumped up and down with like this face paint on of her, like a, I think it was a bunny with a mustache or beard or something. But I, I had fun, a lot of fun editing that, and um, yeah, <laughs> that was my first video. When um, growing up, you've kind of seen basically the whole of my life, just not six years of it. And I think that's actually really special. Um, when when we started, when I was um, when I was young, uh, I, I wasn't very comfortable with it. I was still I, it was fun, but I was still getting used to it. And um, kind of just throughout like um, the years. I just grew more comfortable and more happy with it, and um, it's it's really fun being on this channel. Yeah, I'm very um, what's the word? Honored to be on my big brother's channel. All right, Heather, who do you want to be? Uh, I want to be a buddy. <laughs> And that concludes this evening's investigation 
into the super. Look! <laughs> play the Wii? Right. I've got to play two so Alright, okay. Please don't say it's How did you guess? <laughs> oh! I've got a game! Can you see? <laughs> no. Are you ready to open your. Oh my god! Morning, Dad. Santa came last night and took all the broken presents to fix them. And I hope you have a fantastic new year. Can you open them now and wear them? Da 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 Why won't it work? You idiot! Don't you know water beats fire? What? I used power, but now I'm the Krakenator. Not the Krakenator! It sticks in there! Who dropped a bomb? I did. Girl, you have got to control those bows! Hey, Con, did you turn off the Wi-Fi? No, I didn't. How even could I? I work for Apple now. What? You're working for Apple? Heather, what the hell are you doing on here? Uh, Con, do you want to come in my room and play Minecraft with me? Hello. Hello, I'm watching Yogg's cast while playing some Minecraft. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Uh, just standing there. No, I'm looking at my inventory. Oh, right, I see now. Oh, 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 stop, 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 don't go in! Oh, don't go down! Get out! Get out! He's a bit of a nutter. I know. <laughs> oh, Teddy, you're always there for me. What a sweetheart. And who else is invited to the party? Party? Am I invited? No. We share Kirby Christmas every time. How are we going to build a snowman if there's no snow? Well, hey, kids. <laughs> oh, hi. We ain't moving. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much, Connor. My character. What's in it? It's my character in Minecraft. Yeah. So welcome to Heather Slogs TV. <laughs> <coughs> oh God, not this again. Why'd you always do this on the days you're in a good mood? Siri nine thousand. Yes. Make me a cup of tea. It's ready for you now. And it's simple as that. All right, that's cool. What are you looking at? It's like a travel tea to milk. Yeah, but you make yourself a milkshake. <laughs> no candy for you, mister! Once there was a young banana who went to the muffin factory. Oh. What was that? And here she is. She's back home. Seriously, follow me as I get home from school. <laughs> what? Oh, for Pete's sake, I just want some sweets. Consox TV wouldn't be made without putting my dogs in. You know, they, they've been so good at um, acting. Uh, I know the dogs, but <laughs> they, they're, they're actually really good actors. They just sit for you and just look at the camera or they do things for you, like, you know, walk out of shot and stuff, you know. I absolutely love um, my dogs. One of the dogs I had was um, Dill. Um, he was the Oxford Terrier, and um, I basically grew up with him. Um, he was, like, my best pal. He's been in a, a, a few of my videos, not a lot. Sadly, he passed away um, in 2013. I'm just making a quick video. Uh, saying that earlier today, uh, one of my um, very first pets, uh, called Dale, he's a dog, 
we had to get him put down. He was getting too old and, you know, he was going blind and he had, he basically had diabetes or something like that. We had to keep injecting him with like his stuff every day um, and every night, I think. And um, we just had to have him put down because he was getting too old and, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't live with the pain and stuff, you know. But yeah, it was a really sad time for me um, at the time. Uh, I did make a video on my second channel. Um, about the times he was in my videos and stuff, you know. And then uh, Jem, which we still have now, uh, she's always in my videos. Not all the time, but, you know, I, when, I, when I need her in my videos. But she's been in quite a lot, actually. So, she's, she's actually grown up with Consox TV as well, so... Um, it's pretty cool that we've got her. And, um, yeah, she's an awesome dog. There you go. There you go, Ginger. Look! Jem's got arms! <laughs> <laughs> Would you be my girlfriend? They had no problems with life whatsoever. They were very lucky and I loved them so much. And if Dill was still alive, I'd just give him a really big cuddle right now. Hi, my name's Daz and I used to have a channel called Daz Random. You better not shout, you better not cry. Santa's stuff in his face for men's pie. If you hear the jingle bells, you know he's in the sky. Don't f with Santa, he's a magical guy. <laughs> Do you have to keep singing that stupid song? Sorry, guys, it's stuck in my head. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday, Kukon. Happy birthday, Kukon. It's not my birthday! Oh. What the hell are you doing? We can tone your voice down for a start. Okay! What the hell are you doing? Ah, oh, what the hell? Privacy? It's called privacy. Five bands play! <laughs> <laughs> My business. Mm. Ew! That's disgusting. Dr. Pooper? That's right! Here, try some of this crap! what we have here. You're not gonna speak, aren't you? You're just gonna be that bubbly wobbly that's just gonna sit there and be smooth. Well, you're not! You're not smooth! You're bubbly! I didn't even get up this bloody sticking hand! Oh, nothing. Just chopping your hand off. <gasps> so how's it going, Des? How, how, how are you doing? How what's the crack today? Your arse crack. <laughs> now, what's the crack? I don't do crack. <laughs> Mum and Dad are 60 miles away. What time? God, it's 4 a.m. Change your trousers and get back to bed. I don't know how. What do you mean you don't know how? What do do? We got that hot chocolate, see? And I put too, way too much pickled on and vinegar, and then, yeah, I nearly puked. That's why I had to go in a different room. Uh, all cotton footage up. Excuse me! <laughs> I'm a bit package dig, we you name is condensed legs, sir. Uh, it's consloth. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Consteg, then. Oh crap, I forgot! You don't have a weird remote! Well, that's okay. I have one right here. <laughs> hey, Daz, how's it going? Hey, come on. Uh, but I'm alright, yourself? Yeah. Yourself? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I just really need to practice now, huh? You always seem to need one when I turn up. Let's see it. No, no, no! Dad, 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 give me my camera right now. I'm just testing. Oh. Morning, Daz. Hey, hey, Con, uh, can I use your toilet? Oh, sorry, Daz, uh, Brian's already in there. Uh, wait a minute, what's wrong with your toilet? It's broken. Listen, I really, really need to go. Daz! Daz! Oh. What happened? Explain to me! I just spoke! Oh. What the hell has happened? I think our voices are swapped! Ah! What? What is that on your 
you're all, oh my, oh my god, it is a chocolate, it is delicious. You have been dealing drugs? This whole time? Yeah, bitch! What are you playing? Flappy Bird? I can't seem to get past 13. Flappy Bird? God, I hate that game. This sucks! No, it doesn't. It's fun! Fun! That is it! Oh, what the hell are you doing? You know exactly what I'm doing. Very fun, but I've done it! I got free food sub! High five! Oh, right there! Come on, right, right. Did you say something? Hello? Hey, Condom Slags. How's it going? <gasps> My name's not Condom Slags! Okay, um, yeah, yeah, but don't, don't be too long now. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! Oh. Me and Con met at high school, where, um, it was seven years ago, I think, seven, eight years ago. He was in my English class and uh, he kept pulling out his phone and recording funny videos, just funny moments. He went, I make YouTube videos. Didn't know at the time what that was. Um, and then he introduced me YouTube. We did like random school videos. I think the first video we did was like one on my iPhone. We did, I recorded it on my iPhone and it was just like him saying, stop looking at me, <laughs> something like that. Stop looking at me. Stop stalking me. You've been doing this for the last 13 years. It was actually on the computer with another person. And I just went my phone out and he wanted to be in a video, so I just quickly did a video and that was my first video ever with it, Daz. That's when, it, that's when I began to um, come into his videos and uh, Conslogs TV began for him. Daz made his own YouTube channel called Daz Random. Um, I don't think he uses it much anymore. Um, I'm not, not that I know of anyway, but it says he still wants to make videos, but he's, he's always busy. You know, because he's always working and stuff, and he's got college, and he's he's making his own album and stuff. And um, but it is still it says he still wants to make videos of me, so he does come over to my house and you know still makes videos at times. Um, but yeah, we've been on a long journey. Um, it's been great. You know, we've had uh, made so many videos. Um, it's been great. Throughout the years of um, Consolox TV. Well, the beginning years, um, I've made uh, lots of good friends, internet friends. Um, they've uh, been making clubs for me and stuff, and you know they they're always contacting me and that. And uh, they're really good friends, you know. They're really awesome. Hi, my name's Brandon, and I run a channel called Brandon Goes Raw. I forgot the name of it. PlayStation controller. Close. Hello, my name is B Mac, and this morning I found a hot dog in my toilet. What's up? I can't sleep, Con. I've had a nightmare. Hello? Well, howdy doody, Mo. How's it going? Not bad, Brandon. Just filming a video. Wait a minute. You've caught on the line? Yes, I'm here, Brandon, and I'm not happy! Wh why Hi, my name is Mitchell Gamash. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called Mitch G Films, and I've been running the channel ever since I was about 14 years old back in uh, 2009, and at the time of filming this interview, I'm 22, so it's been about eight years. Anyways, what I want you to do is go on Twitter and tweet out, I love pig nuts. What? Just do it. Did you just talk to me? Uh, nope. Huh. Man, I gotta lay off the weed. I'm Frankenstein. I'm a mummy. I don't even know what I am. My name's Brian O'Kelly Cox from youtube.com slash Brian O'Kelly Cox. <laughs> Chalk makes me want to do a dance. It makes me so hyper all the ladies glance. So oh, hey, hey Con, it's it it's Brian. I I was just uh pooping. Conslogs TV is celebrating his sixth anniversary. Today's the sixth anniversary of Conslogs TV. 
Heck yeah, man. Good job. I am so proud of you. I mean, I've been making videos for about eight years, but I mean, it's not a contest. It's not a contest. And my videos are, are so much better and deserve way more subscribers, and he's got more subscribers. But, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a contest. It's not a contest at all. Um, okay, I'm, I'm totally kidding. Con, uh, Khan's videos are amazing in that, you know, hit or miss, he's always on time. You know, no matter how good the video is, it's topical. You know, he's always got the props and the costumes and he's always somehow got the resources for whatever people are talking about at a given moment. And I'm really impressed with that for a channel that doesn't you know, have like a production team behind it. It's pretty much just a one man band, Conslogs TV. You know, the fact that he doesn't have, you know, a group of people and a budget, work, you know, to work on that stuff, is, you know, it's, it's saying something that he can put all that together. I've been collabing with Khan for quite some time now. We've done some amazingly not at all cringy <clears throat> collabs together. Collabs such as Man Finds Hot Dog in Toilet, so annoying and kissing condoms. Dad, what the hell? Hey son, looks like you'll be needing this. So I first heard of Khan uh, about a year or two after I started my YouTube channel through one of my friends, Zach. Uh, Zach knew this uh, English YouTuber named Daz Random and Daz and Khan did a lot of videos together uh, back in the day. Um, so Zach introduced me to Daz and then that soon led to me uh, meeting Khan over the internet and so we all sort of had this little tiny friend group. We met through a group called Intense Collab. I was part of this YouTube channel where the idea was we all shared a password, different YouTubers from around the world would upload you know a different video on each day like I think I was the guy who uploaded videos on Tuesdays. And we had like a weekly a, a topic, a different topic each week and eventually we brought in this guy, Daz Random, this YouTuber from a channel called Daz Random, to be our Wednesday guy. And uh, me and Daz and a couple of the other people from Intense Collab eventually uh, splintered off into this group and, and we made another channel called Collab Nations TV or CNTV. If I remember right, every now and then uh, some of the people on that channel would need somebody to fill in and Daz would say, well, my, my friend Khan can do it. And this guy, uh, Conslogs or from from Conslogs TV uh, would fill in for our Thursday person or our Friday person. He started to help me out with some of my videos, and and you know by the time the collab channel had kind of died down, we sort of retired that project. But um, we stayed in touch, um, and it's it's funny because you know the people from uh, Intense Collab and Collabs Na and Collab Nations TV who got me in touch with Khan to begin with. I'm actually less in touch with them now than I am with Khan. I, I still reach out to Khan pretty much first when I need, you know, something for one of my videos that I can't quite do myself. Yes, Khan has always kind of been that type of person that has always been there to lend a helping hand. I know how to edit videos, always have a helping hand if I need an actor for something, and can always go to him if I ever have any questions at all about YouTube. Khan and I have done some pretty fun collabs, such as Partners in Pen, Sleep Trouble, and Disney Intervention. Are you aware that you are literally wearing a Disney gift shop right now? I have no idea what you're talking about. I think the first one he did on my channel was, he made a little brief appearance in a video I made called, uh, The Case Against Paddle Balls. This is the best work I've ever done in a long time! If you can master it. It was just a dumb little sketch about what a shitty toy a paddle ball is, and he was in that. A few things that I can say about Khan are that he's an incredibly hard worker, puts his heart and all into every single video that he makes, and is always, always there to lend a helping hand. All of those, and this guy has never given up. I really respect that too. The fact that Khan has made it through six years of consistent content says a lot. That is truly an accomplishment. One thing I really admire about Khan is his diligence and his uh, perseverance towards his video projects. Um, back in the day, I was very consistent with videos, doing vlogs on my channel, um, sort of these like sit-down sort of vlogs, not like travel vlogs or anything like Casey Neistat material. Um, but once I graduated from high school, um, you know, I went to college and I'm actually in my last year right now, so I'm I'm getting ready to graduate in the next few months, and so 
Um, I started sort of, I didn't really have much time to do YouTube anymore. And I mean, I still do video work, but it's sort of networking and professional work. Like I do videos for, uh, you know, bands, uh, companies. Um, I even work for my university producing content, marketing content. And so, you know, I don't really have much time for my own projects anymore, but a lot of my friends back in the day, you know, that's how we all sort of, you know, met and sort of like connected with each other is that we all were making videos and our own content and, you know, we were sharing it to each other and, you know, commenting and talking about the stuff that we've made. And, you know, six years later, six, seven years later, a lot of the people that I associated with on the site just don't make content anymore. And like myself, I mean, we still keep in contact, but if anything, out of all the people that I've met on the platform, Khan is still going, um, you know, six or seven years later. And, you know, he's, he's pretty consistent and he's putting a lot of work and all that sorts of stuff into his projects. And, you know, I, I have to, you know, give my imaginary cap off to Khan because it's just like, you know, it's very diligent work that he's doing and it's just, he keeps spitting them out, you know? and. That's very, very good. And so, you know, I really admire that because he has the motivation and the drive to still make videos after all these years. So, yeah, keep going, Con. <laughs> I went a couple years off of YouTube, and when I did come back on, it wasn't really anything special. But I would come back, and I would see Con, and he would still be going at this YouTube game. He has never given up. He has gone consistently for six whole years. That is truly an accomplishment. You know, one of his running things was always that he's like addicted to hot chocolate. Or hot chalk, I guess as he calls it. I don't know if that's like a the English term or the Scottish term. We don't say hot chalk in America. But, uh, so that was strange to me. I don't know if, if that's e even a Scottish thing or if it's just something that Khan says. That's, that's honestly how little we would ever say hot chalk in America, but he's like, I've got this song that I'm making called Hot Chalk is my drug. It tastes so good. What do I say? I say hot chalk is my drug. And I want you to um, sing in it and hear the lyrics. I looked at him and I thought, okay, <laughs> I can't do this as myself. There's no way that I can um, perform this without doing some kind of voice or some kind of character. So I made this kind of Mr. Bean kind of Stewie Griffin type guy with glasses and a button-up shirt and a tie and... Hot chalk makes me want to do a dance. It makes me so hyper all the ladies glance. Like I did one clip where I think I sit up in bed and I'm wearing you know, the shirt and the tie and everything. I get a hot chalk hangover when I wake up. You know, I talk like this and I, I had a mug and I said hot chalk is my drug and I, uh, you know, kind of liked playing that character. So I eventually uh, created, I named him Winston Douglas III and I eventually made a whole series of videos on my YouTube channel, uh, The Winston Douglas Show. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Winston Douglas Show. I'm Winston Douglas III. Ever. That's right. In the history of human existence, only two Winston Douglases have preceded me. And you know what they say. Third time's the job! So Khan gets credit for that, because um, that all came from the Hot Chalk video. And the song Hot Chalk is my drug, I think, is on iTunes still. It, it, I, if it's not still, it was at one point. And um, that was actually on iTunes, I think, uh, before my band's album that I was working on at the time ever made it to iTunes, so that was just funny to me. Khan's determination for his channel is one of the biggest reasons why I was inspired to come back to YouTube. Watching him have so much fun for so many years on this platform is one of the biggest reasons why I decided to come back to YouTube. One of the things that I've always been grateful for is that when I did finally decide to come back to YouTube, the collab video that I did with him, Partners in Pen, was the second thing that I was able to put out. Khan was more than willing to help me get back on my feet. The second that I told Khan that I wanted to come back to YouTube, he was completely for it. Um, a video that jumped out as really funny to me from Khan's Logs TV was a few years back. He did a video and I think it was called How to Survive in the Woods or something like that. I was just 
Pause in this show. Welcome to How to Survive in the Woods. There was something about that video. It wasn't that much different than his other stuff. You know, it was pretty much in line with what the stuff he was making. But for some reason, to me, it struck me as as so much as as a really above average in, in comedy. It had me laughing pretty hard. Don't have any food, and you keep looking around, but all you can see is a piece of shit on the ground. Eat it. Get it down your neck. It's full of protein. The last one I had had nuts in it. Now that's survival. One of the biggest things that he was to me was somebody that really supported me. He always has supported me. Whenever I needed him for something, he always at least tried to help me with it. And honestly, I thank you for that, man. You know, Khan is a good guy. He's reliable when I need a, a, a hand with, with an editing thing. He designed the logo for uh, my series, Roller Coaster Kingdom. If you go to my channel now, uh, that's sort of what I'm promoting at the moment. I'm Brian O'Kelly Cox, and this is Roller Coaster Kingdom. You know, that logo will be all over my channel, and that's his design. I described to him what I wanted, the, sort of the colors I wanted, the red and yellow thing, and I told him how I wanted it there to be kind of like a little track design, but I wanted it to be, you know, still modest and simple, nothing too over the top or 3D or fancy. I want it to be pretty humble but still have all these different features and like on the first try he sent me like how about this and I was like yeah it's perfect so like I'm not as good at that type of stuff and um, I know I can always uh, you know shoot him a message and he's always happy ready eager to, to help out and you know that's why I'm always happy to to show up on his channel because of how um, supportive he is and how helpful he's been over the years, man. Um, to be able to call myself your friend for like five out of those six years is such an honor. I am so happy for you, Khan. Great job on your channel. If it weren't for you, I can tell you, I can promise you, I would not be where I am today. I did a, um, an animation series called Contoon. Um, I, I, I can't remember when I stopped it, actually. I think I stopped it like ages ago, at least a couple of years ago or something. Um, it was an animation series where I kind of copied a little bit of ASDF movie or ASDF movie by, by Tom Scar. I did like a collab special of Contoon, um, which was basically in like Con's house and everyone's around the house and that. It featured many of my YouTube friends like um, Zach, Brian, uh, Mike, Damien and even Daz. Yeah, content, yeah. The animation where I really need a pee, which is like most of my videos what I used to make. Morning, Daz. Hey, 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 Con, uh, can I use your toilet? Oh, sorry, Daz, uh, Brian's already in there. Uh, wait a minute, what's wrong with your toilet? It's broken. Listen, I really, really need to go. He had me do a voice in one of his con tunes. I played myself, but I was addicted to cocaine. Hey, is someone in there? Oh, hey, hey, Con, it, it, it's Brian. I, I was just, uh, pooping. I was riled, I was crazy in the bathtub, like, <laughs> like, just, just, and it was kind of interesting to record. Con, hey, is someone in there? Brian snorting cocaine. Okay, I'll give you the snorting sounds. I don't know if you want them, but I'll, anyway, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and it was hilarious. I was like, yeah, it's me in a cartoon. It was it was pretty cool, actually. Um, you know, I had black hair, but whatever. It's, <laughs> it's all right. Um, my hair is pretty dark brown. It's close enough. When it came to Halloween, um, I did like a Halloween special of Contoon. And it was it was like a short Contoon episode, but it was like featured in this like big, massive Halloween special I did um, in 2013. And... Um, that features like many YouTube friends as well, like Robbie, Mitch. A one that we did about maybe two, three years ago. I'm not completely sure, but uh, Khan had this sort of Halloween special. And so he reached out to uh, myself um, and my friend Robbie. Trick or treat! Uh, ain't you two a little low for this sort of thing? Uh, Khan, the plan didn't work. Yeah, we only wanted his money. Let's run! <laughs> He wrote up a script and, you know, he asked us if we wanted to be in it and offer our, our lines or voice work. And, you know, we both said, sure. Um, so then we just read our lines and he told us sort of like the characters that we were going to be. 
Um, I think I was a werewolf at one point, uh, from what I can remember. I'm a werewolf. Ow! And uh, yeah, you know, it was a very quick process. He sort of just, you know, gave us a deadline and, you know, we went in and just recorded our lines and then we just sent it back to him and he uh, animated to the voiceovers and that was the Halloween special. And, you know, it's very cool. I've always kind of wanted to get into voice acting work and just like offering my voice to something like that kind of opened the door a little bit. So uh, I think, you know, that was a very fun project to do. The Conan John series was... Um... A long running, ep a, long, a long running series, uh, which um, I had like a, like a good friend called John. He basically looked like me, and but basically he had just like a, um, a sl uh, fleece on, a black fleece on, and uh, some glasses. I never want to see your face again. John uh, was he was just like he was he was originally um, my twin brother um, at the time, but then. Later on in the years, I changed him to my, you know, good friend, um, who close friend, who um, just looked like me. Hey, God, an idea why this summer's taste for me. A couple of years later, um, I decided to make another series with uh, John in that, uh, but I was still making Con and John at the time, uh, but the series were called um, Conland. Con, I've lost my crosswords. You haven't stolen them, have you? What? Me? No, don't be silly, John. I haven't stolen any crosswords. It was basically like a sitcom kind of show, and it basically um, was involving three friends. One was a neighbour, and both was me and John. What the hell are you, are you doing, John? I got my revenge dinner. <laughs> I thought you were Freddy. I'm bloody cold here. <laughs> it, there's a whole story behind it where... Um, Freddy nicks John's crosswords. Freddy is like a long-running character of mine as well, in like older videos and that. Hey, everybody! Hey, Freddy! You all right, Freddy? You all right? Hi. Yeah. I'm all right. You know, it's, it's it was a good series. I was thinking of making like a second series, um, like the next year after, but I never got around to doing that. Uh, so uh, I don't think I'll ever make one again. But we'll see in the near future. You know, I, I, there might be a possibility I make a second series, but we'll see. But back to Con and John, um, I still, I recently did um, an episode, I think earlier this year, um, or last year, I think, and then I just, I decided, oh, I just want to give up on Con and John. It's, I prefer doing like sketches, like different types of sketches, not just a sketch where it's based on one thing, like Con and John. Uh, I just basically wanted to do like different sketches all, all, all the time. And so I just stopped Con and John altogether. I know it's been like a, a long running series on Consoles TV throughout the years. Um, it's been like part of my channel for ages. Um, but I thought, you know, I'll just, I'll just feature John in some things, but not a lot of things because he's been started started to become one of my least favorite characters. And I think a lot of people do like him. But I'm just, I've just gr kind of grown out of him like I did with my grandma character, Grandma Maureen. But, but you know, you do that sometimes. Uh, I, I get fed up of characters and I just I just want to do new characters like Grandpa Joe and stuff. Uh, new Grandpa characters and, you know, new... Lots of different characters that I want to, you know, eventually do at times. The first Christmas video I made was actually the second video on Consoles TV. And it was called... Um, the Big Santa rap, and it was featuring Daz Random. But then I puke, but that's okay, so take it away, Mr. DJ! You better not shout, you better not cry, Santa stuff in his face for men's pie! I basically dressed up as Santa, and um, it was actually snowing outside, and we did like, you know, some scenes outside, and some on the green screen as well. And uh, it was really fun, it was one of my favourite videos, and it was actually a catchy song. Um, it was really fun. When we began to record, um, he told me to do a chorus, which I cringe every time I see it. It's just, no. <laughs> that, was, that was just bad. <laughs> yeah. Daz did like the chorus bit, the rapping bit, and then I did like the rapping Santa bit parts of it. If you hear the jingle bells, you know he's in the sky. Don't f with Santa, he's a magical guy. Every time I see, you know, me doing that or 
I'm not a rapper. I'm a rock guitar player. I'm not a <laughs> anything like that. It was just awful. I watched it just before recording this to really remember how that was and the cold and the, the snow. And yeah, that was a great laugh. Great fun time. Another Christmas video I've done was with Brian and that was like a collab and um, it was just really fun. Uh, we did like loads of like sketch shows and stuff. It was called the Conan Brian's Christmas Sketch Show. Hello, Merry Christmas. Welcome to Decorating with Cecil. The baby Jesus is the reason for the season. Oh God, I'm sorry baby Jesus. Yeah, we did like loads of different sketches. And Brian did some of his own, and we did some together, and I did some of my own. And it was a lot of fun, it was one of my favourite videos I've done. This is the best Christmas ever! That's because you was a good boy all year long. I love you, son. Merry Christmas. It was really funny as well, we, we did like, I wrote it all out, and uh, Brian did some of his own material and stuff, and, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun to make. It was like a whole bunch of sketches in one video, some of them were just him, some of them were just me, some of them were both of us. And uh, that turned out pretty funny as well. Um, he had this idea, a, a public service announcement. It could be just like me in front of a green screen talking about how like every year around Christmas time, like uh, millions of snowmen are left outside and they freeze to death or something. It was really funny. You see, for years now, people have been building snowmen, but then leaving them outside in the cold, alone and afraid. They're just, just, just standing out there in the yard and they're... Where to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh <God. laughs> I've done like many Christmas videos on Consoles TV. Um, I've done like where I'm. It's actually a prank at KFC with, with my dad. Have you been good this year? Huh? Have you been good this year? Have I been good this year? Right. Yes. Right. You'll be getting lots of presents off me then. I've done one where it's like a story, like Christmas stories of Con. I did like two of them. Oh, hey, welcome to Christmas stories for me, Carl. And I've also done like a couple of tree decorating videos, uh, both of my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've done three right now. Okay. <laughs> but the main one that I really, really love doing is Christmas with Con. I've done three of them so far in the last three years and I can't wait to do one this year. So we've got decoration of the fireplace, there's our calendars, Heather's and mine, we're still into week the 24th. We've got the stockings there. Merry Christmas, ho ho ho. We've got Christmas presents here, here's all the family presents, look at all of these. Tons of presents there. Basically what, what it is is, I do like a, a vlog, like a three day vlog from the start of Christmas Eve to the end of Boxing Day and it's basically how I spend Christmas with my family. I like to show people how we spend Christmas and everybody seems to enjoy it and I, I really enjoy doing them as well. Like one of my favourite videos ever on Constructs TV to do. Every year I video like us opening our, our presents and stuff and you know I video like the family's reactions and stuff and I sometimes video our Christmas dinners and stuff it was actually pretty fun, yeah. But here's a fact, that was, Christmas with Con is actually an original video I made back in like 2006 and 2007, uh, way back in the day before YouTube, before I found out about YouTube, and <laughs> it was actually called Christmas with the Slogs, um, and it was um same kind of idea, but that was like only on like Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. I didn't actually video a Boxing Day or anything like that. It's Christmas morning today. And we're gonna go down in a bit. I don't think I actually videoed any of Christmas Eve. I just videoed like the night before Christ uh, Christmas Day, and then I videoed the rest of Christmas Day. But that's how it all started, really. Christmas with Con, and uh, it's, it's become one of my favourite videos to do every year. So I've decided to give you a little tour around the house uh, that I'm living in now uh, on the channel. So here we go. Okay, so you might recognise this bedroom. This is Con's bedroom on the channel. So, yeah, there we go. This is Con's bed and my bed in real life. If it's like a door shot, like here, 
Some of you might recognise the Smosh calendar and the Mario sticker. You might recognise this uh, shelf over here. This is the pop shelf that I keep my pops on. You've probably seen it in the background of my videos. This is my green screen. I sometimes use it in my videos. Not a lot, but there we go. There's my green screen. Just below the green screen is my hats, my costumes and my props. This is a box full of hats for my videos. These drawers are full of props. And these are all my main costumes. So on the channel, up until a year and a half ago, Con never wore any costume at all. But then I decided Con should actually wear a, a costume for his character. So that's why I chose these five shirts. These five shirts are actually all theme shirts, which uh, Con wears them on special occasions of the year. So let's go for them all. You may recognise the blue one, this is Con's main shirt for his character. Next one we have the green one, which is St. Patrick's Day. The black and the purple one are actually uh, Halloween ones. And this last one, the red one, I, I, I didn't decide until up until recently, this year. Uh, I decided he should wear this for Christmas. Normally for Christmas time on Consoles TV, Con normally wears like a like a Christmas jumper. So recently I decided he should wear this red one for Christmas videos. So that's Con's bedroom on the channel, it's actually my own bedroom. Um, so now I'll go around the house and show you all the different sets. Here we've got the hallway going downstairs, this is Heather's bedroom right here. I'm not going to walk in and show you all because you probably won't want me doing that. Going downstairs. Now from downstairs, this is the hallway right here. You've probably seen some angles on the videos like this. Coming down from the left of the stairs is the toilet. Sometimes if I'm like making a funny toilet scene, this is where I'll be. Now to the living room. Here's the main couch and chair that I mainly lose in the videos. Occasionally, if there's another character, I use this couch. And now the dining room area. If I'm doing like a dining room scene, like eating dinner or, you know, chatting at the table, this is where I'll be. Sometimes the character's sitting there, sometimes there, and sometimes here. Hello there, Jim Jim. And here is the kitchen. And now here's the porch of the house. Sometimes if I'm doing like a, a scene in the porch, I'll come here and you know, do a uh, door scene. Sometimes the camera's here, and sometimes here. Also, there's a back door to the house, in case I need to use this door for the videos instead. And it leads out to the back garden. This is the back garden. Sometimes I'll use this garden for the videos in the summertime or something like that. So there you go, that's a tour around my current house. When I make a video, the filming usually takes around roughly two to three hours, something like that. And then the editing usually takes around three to five hours, or even sometimes half a day. Sometimes when I'm working really hard on a video and it's taking too long to edit, I sometimes, now and again, I sometimes take like an hour's break, you know, during editing. It really all depends on how complex a video is, really. Like, if it's different mini sketches in one video, then it doesn't take long to edit. But if it's like a full on sketch, then it takes a while to edit. I try to release a video every four days. If I'm busy during most of the week, then if I have time, I'll shoot a video, then release it the following week. And that's really the process of making a Consoles TV video. So there you go guys, that was my six year anniversary special of Consoles TV. God, six years and running. Thank you for being such awesome subscribers and enjoying my videos throughout the years. Also, really big thanks to my YouTube friends for being a part of this video and also collaborating with me over the years. Congratulations. I really do congratulate you. I've been through the journey with you as well. Um, and you've made a lot of videos. A lot of them. So, well done. Well done to you, mate. Happy 6th, Khan. Um, I hope to see your YouTube channel grow and, and, and thrive and, and get even more subs and views. But I'll, I'll catch up to you one of these days. I had more I had more than you for a while but uh, that was bound to change just with the sheer amount of videos you make you know they're they're bound to generate more uh, what you would call it uh, views comments all that good stuff and you deserve every bit of it buddy let's hear it for another six more years con and another six after that never give up on your work you are truly an inspiration. Good job, man. I'm not really sure how to end this video. So I'm just gonna rely on you again with a little special effect. <laughs>